them inside out. It's getting boring for me. It's turning my brain into jelly. Uh, honestly, I think I've done them all too much. I'm going to show off some ring rally, I guess. Let's just pick something at random. Don't like that one. Yeah, okay. Ring rally is new. So let's try like a different character. Let's try, I'm gonna try Cortex. I haven't played Coco yet. These guys are all like main kind of ish characters, so I feel like I should be playing them. But it's like, you know, if you're a Crash fan, you know who these guys are. Let's do Tiny Toad. I like Tiny. He was always funny in the first game. Tiny squish puny carts. Like literally anything he would ever say, he'd say on loop on my version of the game for some reason. It was hilarious because it annoyed everyone. Think about saying that's not dank humor. Think about saying that's not dank humor. Or just darkness. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, great stuff. So, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, recently, uh, obviously, Doom Eternal's coming out soon. One of my friends still had Doom 2016 on his wish list, so recently I just bought it for him. Because it's going cheap right now, because obviously they're trying to get people hyped for the new Doom, which isn't very hard. And I was like, dude, you've got to play this new, you've got to play the Doom. Doom is hype, it's metal as fuck. <laughs> he was like, oh yeah, I'll play it at some point. And actually, like, recently I was bored. I bought Street Fighter Collection. Oh, I'm gonna fuck this up. Oh, I didn't! Because the hoops push me through. Good. The hoops give you boost. Um, yeah, and like, I was like, you know the amount of times I've looked at the PlayStation Store and I've looked at Akami and I've gone, I really need to play Akami and it's the same with Shadow of the Colossus. I've been told by everyone, amazing game, super fun and I've just not been in the mood and I've been like, I just don't want to buy it. I want God Hand. <laughs> you know, they're, like, they're never putting God Hand up. Not on the Hong Kong site anyway. Definitely not on the Hong Kong store. I've checked so many times. And I'm just like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll play River City Girls. I'll play this. I'll play that. And I'm like, I want to play. Um, I should I should really play Akami. And it's just like, I never play Akami. In the end, I picked up um, Wolfenstein the Last Colossus or the Next Colossus or the Colossus or something. 2017 one. I was like, oh man, this will this will tie me over until Doom comes out because Doom's coming out in a few. I've been trying to get like the RE playthrough done and up on YouTube in time. It is not on time because it's like I want to get RE three, but there's no rush because it's like I'm gonna play Doom Eternal first because I'm just a huge Doom like Mark Mark. And, um, you know, like, Ari's great, but I think if I just played Ari 2, I'm going to be, like, at this point where I'm like, yeah, I'm going to leave it for a little bit, you know? I just came off of playing Ari 4 for the first time relatively recently, so I, I want a bit of a gap, although it looks awesome. And then, you know, if you if you buy one, ugh, oh, I, I'm, yeah. Oh, that wasn't that great. Yeah, I feel like, you know, if I do that, I can maybe, um, it'll be cheap by the time I get to it. But I keep saying to myself, man, just play Akami, play Shadow of the Colossus. You know, it'll be something interesting and new, and I'm just like, every time, every time. I don't know why. Never played it. Really want to play it, never play it. Too hot, Skyway. 
So maybe that'll be an LP in the future if I finally get around to buying it and I have some time. Like, my job is really limiting at the moment. Purple Coco. They kind of changed her character a lot. She used to be, like, she used to have a pink laptop and she'd always be on that. And she was like, I'm a hacker when that was, like, kind of, like, a character trope. In the 90s, there was always a character trope in the kids kind of, like, like, Kids Next Door had one, and, like, if you ever remember that one, where they had all had numbers. There'd be, like, one kid that was always like, I'm a hacker, and she was really that trope for a while, and now she's now a selfie-taking, live-streamy chick, and I'm like, eh, yeah, I guess that's an update. That's more up-to-date than having your little laptop and tapping away all the time. But, you know... I prefer the old, like, more nerdy style. This is, feels less nerdy and more, like, different. Uh, <laughs> any update or change, I'm like, yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> it's just like, oh, whatever. Well, I fucked this up already, look. You can see my time is... Yeah. My time was bad. Because you've got to hit the hoops early on because you don't have much time and if you mess it up and fall down a hole you have basically screwed yourself there. I'm going to try that one more time. Ooh, I thought I broke the game. Hard lockdown. So, uh... Never understood why the skinny pinstripe henchmen were fighting the fat pinstripe henchmen and everything, but they always are. And it's like, aren't they part of the same gang? They always seem to be like shooting at one another and stuff. Um, come on, don't mess it up. What? I ran out of time. We're gonna try something else. <laughs> That's hard. It's harder than I expected. So I'm gonna stop in a minute, but like, um, yeah, so I kind of want to do an Akami play for at some point. I thought that one might be fun to just record my first attempt through it because I always wanted to play it. But at the time, I didn't have any money to buy it, so I never bought it. I just heard people saying it's really good everywhere when I had a PS2. And then uh, that was about it. And then um, everyone... Uh, I had like one friend who played Shadow of the Colossus. I can't remember which friend it was. And they were like... Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus is, like, really good. It's, like, Game of the Year good. And I was playing God of War 2 at the time, which was also being penned as the Game of the Year of that kind of era as well because PlayStation really wanted to push their own IPs uh, as well. And I was like, yeah, I'll get around to that. And then I got an Xbox 360 and I never got around to it. Um, Cortex. I don't think we've done Cortex. Uh, yeah, so that would be pretty good. It's just weird, you know, like, it's hovering on the purchase page, and every time I'm like, I, I could really get into this, I'm sure I could, and then I'm just like, but will I, though? And I'm just like, it's, that's very much my attitude now towards games. It's like, oh, you know, play it safe, play something that you, like, know you're going to enjoy. But, like, honestly, like, I was trying to get around to saying for the past hour or something, uh, I picked up Wolfenstein thinking, oh, this is going to be great. Like, this is just going to, you know, be like Doom, but with Nazis. Because that's what that... Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, that was bad. Um. Yeah. This is going horribly, if you can't tell. These are harder than I thought. They require you to actually be good at get, taking the shortcuts consistently, which I cannot do. Especially not with characters that are a drive type I don't use very often. Yeah, I'm doing everything wrong. Uh, yeah, so like I picked up uh, Wolfenstein, and I was like, oh, this is going to be great. And it's just like, there's nothing wrong with it. There are a few things that I'm like... But where's the shotgun, though? 
Where's the shotgun? I don't get it. Where's the shotgun, though? Oh, you've given me a machine pistol I can dual wield. Cool. Okay, you've given me, like, heavy machine guns I can dual wield. Cool. They feel like they have absolutely zero impact, though. There's no, like, kickback on the vibration control that they're just, like, firing. Oh, I've got a laser gun now. Cool. Cool. And, you know, like, they... Oh, i got dual pistols. It's like, so where's the fucking shotgun? Am I missing something? I mean, I've never played Wolfenstein. I was always a Doom guy, you know? And, like, um... I'm just sat here like, am I doing something wrong? Am I being like that guy? And everyone's like, you're not, you're not supposed to have a shotgun, fucking idiot. And I'm just like, you know, ruining it. Am I that guy? I'm probably that guy. But it just feels like weird, because, you know, when you walk in expecting doom, you're expecting visceral, up close, and murder, and it's like, it couldn't be less. Like, you spend the first hour listening to people have a really, like, High drama is happening. High drama is happening. They are tugging on the heartstrings. Someone gets, like, spoilers. It's a main character who I didn't know was a main character because uh, I didn't know any of the characters because it's one of those games where it assumes, like Metro Last Light, it assumes that you are, um, you're coming from a situation where you played the first game because why wouldn't you? And it's like, because I'm me. <laughs> uh and, uh, you know, I come late to stuff, so then I just buy the sequel, and I'm not like, what, what, who are these characters? Oh, it doesn't matter, I just play the game. And, like, you know, a lot of dark stuff happens real early, and you're like, this is just... It's not making me angry at the Nazis any more than I was angry at them before, you know? It's just making me uncomfortable... You know, like, these characters getting hard, brutally murdered and taunted as they're being murdered in front of you. And you're, you're, you're like, supposed to be like, ooh, those Nazis. And you're just like, this is horrible to watch. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, I won. Oh, I should really stop because I was just... Ah, oh, just do one more. Yeah, I just felt really uncomfortable, and then I was going through it, and I got through a few missions. I did it on quite a hard difficulty level, or I thought was an okay difficulty level. Then it wasn't, and I was getting wrecked, because you start the first section in a wheelchair, so you have almost no mobility, and you have one gun. And I was just getting, like, absolutely wrecked. And then I got better, because I could move and stuff, you know, and actually do stuff. But, like, he's max painting all over the place. He sat there like, Ugh. I'm gonna die soon, but they're not talking about it. I'm supposed to be dead. And you're just like, um... Cool story, bro. I thought you were, like... Badass. Oh, shit, no. That's the same, yeah. Let's change. I think I ever did a tiny arena on this. Uh... Not on Ring Rally. Uh, yeah, and you're just sat there like, oh, okay, this is way less than what I, like, way different. I was thinking it would be like Doom where the guy's just mad all of the time and he's like stabbing Nazis and going, yeah, fuck you. And it, it has a bit of that, but it's like, you don't feel like it's like, you feel like you're a bad person or you're like going to die at the end. You feel like everything's going poorly. It just feels really like, oh, this is a downer, <laughs> like... But, you know, okay kind of thing. And, yeah, like I said, where's the shotgun, though? I wanted to get up close and glory kill some fools. Is that not this game? Oh, I thought they were roughly, like, similar. <laughs> oh, I'm terrible and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, you know, I'm, um, like, getting murdered a lot. And then I got to the point where you get to New York and you have, like, this person... And she is one of the most annoying characters that I, like, I haven't picked it up since because I've been LPing, like, RE2, and I'm just trying to speed through that. And I've gone pretty far by now. But, like, um, I was going to come back to it if I had time before Doom Eternal. I'm probably not going to. And, like, this character, like, I was like... So, like, I had Fergus because they said you've got to make a choice, and I was like... 
sitting there for a while timing that out, seeing what happens if I don't choose between the characters at the beginning of who to sacrifice, and it just kind of like, yeah, I just chose a guy, I didn't think about who I was choosing, I just didn't know them, and like, if you just sit there and don't choose, it doesn't make it like the decision for you or have them both killed or like nobody gets killed or something they just loop the lines over again and the nazi guy says the same thing again and again and you're like oh okay and like i i like this scottish guy that i saved this fergus guy i think he's scottish uh, i can't tell yet because like i only played the game a little bit um I, I echoed his sentiments towards these people exactly. This like they literally helped these ladies from escaping the Nazis and like you're literally talking about a group of ex Nazis essentially going fuck the Nazis and a bunch of people who were never Nazis going fuck the Nazis and they come and help these guys escape. And the first thing that comes out of our mouth is basically fuck you, all white people are the same, move out the way, make space for me and I'm and like he's just like you could be nicer. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, am I affecting your sensibilities? And it's like, if it was my ship, I don't care who the, how much of a survivor you are, if you were a dick to me at the level she was being a dick in the game, I'd just be like, get the fuck off my ship. <laughs> Go back to your fucking New York City bullshit. Have fun. <laughs> like, you know, and I would just be such an asshole about it because it's like, man, I saved your ass. <laughs> like, I'm not asking for anything other than you to just be like, Oh yeah, thanks, dude. She was just like she drew, she just rubbed me out the wrong way because she was just like, oh yeah, fucking like all white people are basically Nazis. Like she said something like along the lines of the yeah, man, all these white people are chicken shit cowards. Yeah, they just basically want the Nazis to win. They all gave up as soon as possible. Yeah, fucking white people. And I'm like, wow. So you realize you're going on a like rant to like people who are on your side who you are now turning against you. Because you're being such an asshole about it. And it's just like... And like all of them are just sat there like... Oh. <laughs> and like, her husband's a weirdo. And it's just like, oh god, he's a creep, I can tell. No one has that haircut and isn't a creep. And it brought up a really interesting question. Because they were all talking like, kind of like, in a kind of funky... Kind of like, you know, that era of the 60s. Kind of like, yeah man, beatnik kind of style. And I was thinking... In an alternate history where the Nazis were like, took over real early, and took over everything, would that scene even exist still? Because wouldn't they be like, hey man, that doesn't seem very regime-like. Like, would that music, like, would those musicians still be doing music? Would they even exist? Like, alternate history is weird, because people are like, yeah man, like, those guys still came out and did records and the global Nazi regime didn't have a problem with it and you were like I'm pretty sure they would have had a problem with it trust me authoritarian right wing nations the first thing they do is censor everything that they have a problem with which is almost like 70 to 90% of anything not produced in their country <laughs> you know like it's the first thing they do <laughs> like trust me Trust me, like, you're not gonna, like, just, like, allow people to continue. Oh, yeah, like, we took over the world and we don't want people to have these kind of opinions. Okay, I know, just let them sing about it, let them have, like, music. Like, literally, if you look back in Nazi history, they were straight up stopping people from, like, having meetings without a license. If there were groups of three or more, you needed a license to show that you weren't plotting or doing anything bad, you know? So, you know, I don't think the Nazis would be cool with it, is all I'm saying. I doubt they chilled out. They didn't seem to chill out in any of the cutscenes I watched. Jeez, they were just like, you know, just sat there like, oh, that was just mean. Why would that happen, you know? I don't even know this character because it's my first foray into it, and, like, I feel bad. Like, you know, I feel I'm really horrible on, like, maybe that was the idea. But it does not equate to, I now hate.
this antagonist because she was pretty nasty looking already. You were just like, oh, she's just like such a horrible, like crow-like woman. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I don't really like her. But it's like, you don't feel any hate towards them because first of all, they're fictitious. But like, um, you also just, you just sat there like, you know, this is just horrible to watch. Why would you make me watch this? It's not making me... I know what I'm supposed to feel, but, like, I'm not an idiot, so I'm just sitting here like, oh, no, this pretend person did a horrible war crime in front of me, and now I'm supposed to be pretend mad and I'm supposed to be chasing after her, but, like, all, all the BJ Blazkowicz is doing for this game is complaining that he feels weak and he's going to die soon. So you're feeling like, I don't know if my guy's up for the task right now. Maybe he powers up. He better power up soon. But he keeps saying the doctors can't do anything. And I'm like, well, oh, look. Oh, hoops. Come back, hoops. Okay, we fucked up this one. Yeah, so, um, I think I need to give it a better chance. Sometimes the sequels don't come out as well as the first. I found that with Metro Last Light. I think, like, the version I was playing at is actually not very well optimized, it's the PS4 version. Some of the cutscenes are really jank, and there was a situation where, fuck, oh, fuck, fucking fuck, 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 there we go. I got one. That will save the whole, oh, this is bad. This is the worst. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm still going to persevere with it, because I always had an interest in playing a wolf and... Oh. Penguino. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still going to persevere with it at some point, but, like, Metro Last Light, I probably won't. I just didn't really enjoy it. Uh, Metro Last Light, um, I played it twice. I got lost a lot of the time. The game is too dark once you extinguish all the lights, but it incentivizes you heavily to turn off all of the lights. Then you can't find where you're going, and then you get shot because you just ran into somebody that you could literally not see. And the AI is really dumb. Like, literally, I walked up to a guy who was facing forwards, crouched, staring directly at his crotch with a gun pointed at him, and he could not see me because the lights were off. And I was in hidden mode, so, you know, impossible to see. Let's do... But, like, one of these cutscenes, it really stuck, and, like the models were just not responding and like it turned into enemy characters pinging off of a dark one which are these like big big tall alien creatures if you have never seen the game any of the games in action and like it froze and like none of the textures were popping in and the child characters were just stationary and like none of it was and it was just looked really bad and I was just like I was kind of not minding it, but it's, like, not really my bag entirely, you know? Like, I can see why people like it. Oh. I can see why people like it, but at the same time, it's, like, just not for me. Oh. Oh, this is horrible. No. <laughs> Let's try again. I missed everything. Yeah, like, one of my friends really, really, really recommended Metro. And I was just sat there like... Last Light feels like you're just going through a series of, like, funhouse rooms. Where it's like, run away from the Nazis. And you're like, okay. Now run away from the communists. Now go through the spider lair. And you're just like, it's just like, every, every, like, to be fair, like, Every single thing is a new thing. Every single, like, chapter is a new thing, so... But it just feels, like, very manufactured. And, like, it doesn't really add to, like, tensional pacing, because it just means that you're bumbling through dark corridors. 
unable to like see where the hell you're going <laughs> like you know because like me you're like oh it's doing the same thing as the darkness i have to turn all the lights off oh now i can't see anything but with the darkness you could always see oh i just oh oh what am i mm. you're not supposed to miss the hoops range your time I need to pay more attention. Man, I miss the original Darkness game. I played the second Darkness game and it just wasn't the same. No offense to the Darkness 2 and the developers there. There were some really cool things there. I had some great elements, but I really preferred the first Darkness game. Because it was just so, like, edge. <laughs> it was awesome. Very, like, good use of a color palette wasn't boring even though there was a lot of like dark colors and dark themes it was very 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 interesting I felt I still didn't get a lot of it I still felt like there was multiple endings and I just didn't understand how to get them though because it just felt like you know is that it is that the ending you know yeah it was an interesting interesting thing about it. like like Criterion's Black I don't think the darkness will come back because I think it's like people aren't really aware that it's a thing anymore it was it was cool it was really cool it was a nice idea and I'd love to see what they could do with it with modern day stuff like now like the graphics and like the mechanics worked out much better like what you could do with the darkness powers because they had it was such a cool thing and like the whole darkness and light system you couldn't really you you know couldn't really use them in well lit areas and stuff and like it's just a cool concept the whole thing like the way the story ran out both games did a really good thing where they kind of made you doubt what your actions were and doubt whether you still had control like at one point, you know, it tries to in the second game they try and manipulate you into thinking that you're in an asylum and you dreamt it all up. Um, the darkness does that to you, and then in the first one, um, you're like thrown into a World War Two or World War One style hell, and then like um, other weird trippy shit happens in it, um, and then you have to fight a shadow version of yourself. But if you fight him, he gets stronger and then he kills you. So you have to just not and have to walk up to him and accept him. And it felt like you were given options, but you were just doing the wrong thing the whole time. And that was actually kind of cool. Like right at the end, you have to kill Uncle Pauly. And it's like, do I have to kill Uncle Pauly? Is this an option? And you always felt like you got the bad ending. It's kind of cool in that way. But like I, I'm now gonna like I'm now gonna stop this LP, and I'm gonna go and look at Darkness wikis and try and find out if there were two endings, and that I just kept getting the wrong ending. So I was like, no, I gotta save Jenny. She's cool. <laughs> and I was like, I don't think that it's canon that you can save Jenny. But like, we'll have a look. If I could get a copy of it, I'd do a full LP. It's a really fun game. Uh, that and Criterion's Black. But I don't have like five classic consoles and like all of these games and I don't really have a way to get them. There's no like, not in China man, not in China. It's going to be a right pain to get that stuff out here. Oh man, I'd love to do a Burnout Revenge LP. That would have been good. That wasn't my jam man. And Need for Speed Most Wanted. Oh, I'm just ruining my life now with nostalgia. That then won't hold up if I go and play these games. They'll be like, oh. Oh, it looks bad now. You. <laughs> you know, like, uh, like, you know, enough of my rambling. I'm going to end it here.